What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Chandelure Snow team for you guys on the casual ladder. Should be a fun one, Chandelure is one of my favorite fire types of all time. Really dope Pokemon with the Ghost and Fire type. And like I said, we also had the Snow team around it featuring Ninetales, Sand Slash, and Mamoswine. Should be able to rock out with the squad, grab you guys some wins. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But in the past, we already showcased a Ninetales and a Lone Sand Slash Snow team. So in today's video, we're going to be using them a little bit, but trying to focus more on Chandelure and Mamoswine on the scene. We also have Snorlax and Clefairy, all returning Pokemon from the Teal Mask DLC. So like I said, we're going to be rocking out trying to showcase that side of this team. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Alola Ninetales with Snow Warning and the Air Balloon as its item. It's got Protect, it has Encore, Free Try, and Blizzard. No Aurora Veil on this Pokemon, which is totally fine. Alola Ninetales can actually hit pretty hard on the special attacking side. Pairing up with Alolan Ninetales is going to be Alolan Sand Slash with Slush Rush and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Protect, EQ, Iron Head, and Ice Silver Crash, and I absolutely love this moveset for the meta at the moment. In our third slot, we got Chandelure, the Pokemon that I'm so excited to actually be using in this generation. It has Flash Fire, Focus Sash as its item, Rock and Trick Room, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Heat Wave for a stab move. Mamoswine is in our fourth slot, and this Pokemon is really, really powerful in the meta right now. It has Oblivious with the Choice Scarf to make it as fast as possible, then it's hitting hard with every single one of its moves. It's got EQ, Rock Slide, Icicle Crash, and Heavy Slam. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Snorlax. Not just any Snorlax, we got ourselves a Belly Drum Recycle Snorlax. So if you guys do not know what Recycle does, it actually, every time you use your berry, it will recycle it and uh, give you another berry. So it's a really, really cool move that you can use just to get another berry back and get some more HP. Pair it up with the Gluttony as its ability, it gets more HP every time it eats a berry, so really cool kind of kind of thing you could do with Snorlax right there, just get constant stream of HP back. But this Pokemon also has Belly Jump to go plus 6 on the attack stat, then Rock Slide and Facade for 2 hitting moves. And our final slot is going to be our support Pokemon, and that is going to be Friend Guard Evo like Clefairy. It has Protect, it's got Follow Me, Sing to put Pokemon to sleep, and then it also Rock and Life do for HP recovery. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Look to showcase Chandelure and Mamoswine in Regulation E. We're loading into our first match for today's video. And if you guys have Regulation E teams for me, make sure you guys get to me. I would love to make YouTube videos with Pokemon that I have not featured yet. So if you guys have any teams, run the codes with new or returning Pokemon, leave them in the comment section down below or do me one better. Send them to me over on Twitter, whether it's DMing me, tweeting, whatever. Just get me your guys' run the code. We're hopping into the first match going up against a Fire Ogre Pond team. With Fluttermane, Arcanine, I should say Hisuian Arcanine, and then they got Golden Go, Shen Pao, and Tornado. Definitely want to use Chandelure. I absolutely love this Pokemon here. Going to be super effective onto the Fluttermane with Shadow Ball, onto the Golden Go with Heat Wave, onto the Shen Pao with Heat Wave. It's looking really nice. It's looking real nice. So, do I want to lead Chandelure or do I want to bring it in the back end? We do have Infiltrator on it. No, this is a Flash Fire one. So, it actually works out well, especially up against Ogre Pond. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So Chandelure, we're definitely bringing it here, but I don't know if I want to lead it. I could go Mamoswine and Ninetales. That's not bad. Nice little weather start. And I think I'm just going to go Mamoswine with the choice and Chandelure here. I think this works out really well going into both of those and then bring a Snow in the back end. And then late game, we could definitely have either Snorlax or Clefairy. A little bit of support or bulkiness. Don't really matter. Who would I rather have here? We got Snorlax. Now nah, I'm gonna go Clefairy here. I like having a little bit of support, especially with all the attackers we have. We have two great special attackers with Chandelure and Alolan Ninetales. And then a big time physical attacker with the Choice Scarf with Mamoswine. Should be nice to have a little bit of support on the squad. Hopefully, we get the Rock out up against, I would say, some meta Pokemon and grab you guys a win here. Because I feel like that's going to be a strong team once Regulation E comes out. It's like the meta Pokemon from now and kind of adding Ogre Pond to it. It just seems like the play, right? But they end up leading Ogre Pond, which I don't mind. They got Flash Fire, like I said. I am a little scared because the Mamoswine is weak, but I could always Terrasalize it. But yo, Chandelure, looking dope. Love this Pokemon. What's your Terra type right here? You got Ice Terra type. And now what's your speed going to be? Are you going to be able to outspeed Ogre Pond? Probably not, right? Probably not. I mean, with the Choice Scarf, yes, but are they going to pop a Tailwind? 
Potentially, right? And that, that that's where we get into the scary part. It's like, okay. That is scary. Um, I think I'm just going to choice into Icicle Crash. And I'm going to rip into you. And then on top of that, I'm just going to heat wave across this board, right? I could actually pop a Trick Room. I could pop a Trick Room if I want to. I am going to pop a Trick Room. That's going to be my play. He ends up taunting me. Oh, that hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. I should have just went into a heat wave. That really hurts. But the good news is we do outspeed with Choice Scarf. We're going to be able to drop a nice super crash. And we get off some nice damage. Do we get a flinch? We do get a flinch. That's that's beautiful. That's a love. That's a lovely sight right there. That is a lovely sight. So from here, we're Choice into this. I'm going to stick with this. They're probably going to go for a, uh, a Tailwind now. Knowing that we outspeed the Ogre Pond. And probably knowing that we're choice scribed, and then probably go into the Ivy Cudgel into my boy. But he ends up just spiky shielding, which is totally fine with me. I wonder what you're doing, Tornadus. I'm kind of curious. You're gonna set up a tailwind, so that's weird to spiky shield and tailwind there. I would think you would want to use your tailwind turns and kind of get after it that way. So I still crash comes out here. Ivy Cudgel's just looking terrifying to me. I'm gonna pop a heat wave. And I could actually fr uh, throw out a uh, friend guard Clefairy next turn, which is probably going to be my play because Heat Wave's doing an insane amount of damage. So yeah, that's definitely going to be my play. We're going to save the Snow Squad for the back end. We're going to reset our Choice Scarf as well, and we're just going to go into a Heat Wave. So swap to Clefairy, go into another Heat Wave, look to pick up a double KO with Chandelure. And I love Chandelure, especially up against Fire Ogre Pond. They usually only rock Grass moves, which we already resist. And then on top of that, we have Flash Fire, so they want to go into a fire move into my Chandelure. That's fine. We soak it, and then our Heat Waves will do more damage. So, we end up swapping into Clefairy. We got Friend Guard, which will neglect some of the damage or negate some of the damage that will come in by Chandelure. And he ends up Terrasalizing into the Hearth Flame Mash. So, he's going to get that attack boost. That's looking scary. Heat Wave is now neutral onto that, which is kind of ugly, but I can always use Follow Me. And we should be chilling. The Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here, probably get a speed drop, do some damage onto that, but look how much we soak with the friend guard going. Of course they get the speed drop. Lovely speed drop, but they had speed anyway. Ivy Cudgel's gonna come out here, and that is gonna go after my Clefairy. And can you soak that? You don't, you're dying. That's tough, that's a tough customer right there. That's a real tough customer. So Heat Wave's gonna fly here, who's dodging it? That's the real question, someone dodged it. And of course it's gonna be the Tornados, and that's kinda fine. I'm gonna shake off my taunt here. And from here, I'm just gonna go into Ninetales and just protect, right? Protect Heat Wave's gotta be the play. It has got to be the play. Protect Heat Wave. So we're gonna set the snow. They could potentially just, uh, Rain Dance or something like that, but I just think Protect's gonna be my play. Protect and just Heat Wave across the board. Look to get the double KO. So Protect comes out here. I'm kind of hoping they don't pop the Rain Dance. I'd rather just not deal with that and then have the swap out later. But chances are they are going to. And no, they go for a Bleak Wind Storm. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Because again, I do not think Ogre Pond has anything to KO my Shane anymore. And I really think they double down into Ninetales slot here, right? Another Speed Drop coming here. That's ugly. There's the Ivy Cudgel. We protect it. Chandelure, I need you here. Heat Wave, need you double landing for the double KO. Be big time. I love you. I love you, Chandelure. You're my best friend. So big time double KO. We still have the Snow Squad in the back end. Speed is kind of slow on the Chandel. Tailwind should be ending soon. Whether it be this turn or next turn. And I might I might just hard swap the Chandel. Depending on its speed. I gotta see its speed. And depending on what two Pokemon they have in the final slot. Really depends. It really depends. So out is gonna come who? Flutter May maybe? Arcanine's gonna come out here. And that's fine. I mean Intimidate on special attackers. We don't mind that. And on top of that, go in the gold. Go. So I'm thinking of hard swapping in the Mammoth Swine. I think that's my best bet. I still have Terra type. Which I might want to save for. This is tough because I don't like where we're sitting with this with the with Nine Tails. Nine Tails not looking so good. But I'm gonna hard swap into Mammoth Swine here. So what's your speed, Chandle? What's your speed? 76. All right, so you're already slow, right? Don't really matter. Don't really matter for a swap. It really don't matter. Your best bet is probably Blizzard here. 
and then just a straight terror in the heat wave. But if we're gonna terror, I'd rather just Shadow Ball. I mean, I don't think Shadow Lord gets off a turn, which is a problem. Maybe I should try to pop Trick Room here, but. That's probably what I should have done last turn, just pop a trick room with Shandon Lord. I should have definitely done that last turn. Instead of Heat Waving, because then we could just outsped. And kind of just get get after the battle that way. But we'll see how this one plays out here. Because we're going to Terrasalize here. Make it Rain's going to come out here, and that's the scary part. That's just a simple double KO. I mean, their special attack's going to drop. I have Mammo Swine. They have no Terra. Don't I have EQ? I think I have EQ. Which could be massive. That could be massive. Mammo Swine could definitely clutch this up for us. They have no Terra. I kind of like that. I can get down with that. And the reason I have Terra is because I already knew Mammo Swine's, ter or Swine's Terra type. And I knew that wouldn't be anything. Like, it wouldn't be anything of value for us. But we do have EQ on this thing. We're Chewy Scarf. We will outspeed. It's going to be four times super effective onto the Arc 9. It's going to be super effective onto the Golden Go. And we are going to outspeed, which is huge. So EQ is going to be our best friend here. Stab, super effective. Great back end Pokemon for us. Good thing we did swap this. Good thing we did swap. But yeah, I just tried getting off some value with, the, with that Chandelure Terra. Because like I said, the two Terra types on our other Pokemon really weren't working out. But EQ is going to fly here. It's going to get rid of the Arcanine. So all we have to do is pretty much eat up a shot from Golden Go here, who is minus one on special attack. And he's going to pop and make it rain, which is still kind of scary, right? And that really KOs me. Minus one. Minus one's KO me. A heart, a soul. Really hurting here, match number one. But we end up losing, we're 0-1. We get to use Chandelure and Mammoth Swine a little bit. Let's go hop into our second match, look for our first victory. We're hopping into our second match for today's video, and we ended up losing the first match, but Mammoth Swine got some work done. Same thing with Chandelure, just the nice little make it rain from Golden Goat was too much for us to handle in the back end. But like I said, second match is here and we're going up against a Skelly Dirge and Me Ausgarada team alongside with Annihilate, Kilowattrel, and then uh, Tinkaton and Blood Moon Ursaluna. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I'm not gonna lie, Ninetales Mamoswine looking pretty spiffy here. I kind of like him a lot. We got a lot of different moves that we can really get after it. We do have to watch out for the fake out user, which would be Tinkaton. And actually, in that case, I think I just want to go Ninetales Chandelure, right? I think I'd rather do that because then we have the ghost typing. I can always protect nine tails. And I can really try to get after it that way. So I kind of like this lead. I kind of do like this lead. And then we bring Mammoth Swine in the back end alongside with Slush Rush Sand Slash, right? We go full Snow Squad here, correct? Yeah. I like it a lot. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Considering we are 0 1, so I would love to grab ourselves our first victory here. But something I forgot to mention during the team preview and even in match number one was a huge shout out to the team creator. Forgot to shout out my boy, that's a plus one. Thank you so much for making this rental code, making videos on these rental teams. Actually, they, he, did, he did make a video featuring 10 new regulation E rental teams. So if you guys want to check it out, link will be down in the description below. Also, the Pokey Pace will be over on his channel. So again, huge shout out to that's a plus one for making this team right here. But I'm going to pop the snow here. I got Shandle. They ended up not leading a fake out user. So from here, I think just going into a potential like Shadow Ball. It'll be a really good turn for us. You could Tailwind Pop. It is definitely an option. But I think I just... I think I just Blizzard here, right? I think I just Blizzard and Shadow Ball. And I might Terror Shadow Ball. Do I Terror Shadow Ball? I think I am going to Terror Shadow Ball. I think I would just want to rip as much damage as I possibly can. Actually, I'm gonna pop a tr I'm gonna pop a trick in turn one. I'm gonna pop a trick and the reason being is because I want some speed here, and they have a potential uh, turn to pop a tailwind, right? So that happens, and no, he just goes for a thunderbolt. He's gonna thunderbolt into me, and he's gonna rage for so dang he double down into me. It really hurts, so I'm dead to that, right? Yep, I'm dead to that. Dang, so my boy Shandel gets dumped on turn one, which kind of hurts the soul. It definitely kind of hurts the soul, but I like our back end poke. I can go into Mammoth Swine here. I can really start ripping. Icicle Crash Blizzard. I think we'll be fine here in this match. I think we will be fine. So I think we just go Icicle Crash with Choice into that. And then we'll throw a Blizzard across the board. So we got the snow. We got the weather. We should be thriving. I'm really surprised they didn't pop a tail with Kilowattrel. I was really hoping that would happen, but they ended up just double down on my Shandle, which kind of sucks. It really does. The Blizzard flies here. It is going to pick up the double KO, and now we're, we're thriving. We are just, it's just pretty much game, right? Most likely. Like like I said, I really like the Ice Squad here. 
The Ice Squad was looking really, really good. Mammoth Swine paired up with Nine Tails alongside with a Lone Sand Slash. It seems great. It seems great. And I feel like you can go into any Pokemon alongside with Nine Tails for the Ice Squad because Lone and Sand Slash has that Slush Rush double speed and Nine Tails, or not Nine Tails, and uh, Mammoth Swine is rocking that Chewy Scarf, which is massive. So from here, I am just going to go double down in the Ursaline here. Just go into Blizzard and a Freeze Ride. And if Tinkaton fakes out, I can always Encore next turn into Fake Out, which could be really good for us. But we're just outspeeding. Should be dumping on the Ursaluna, right? After this Blizzard goes through. Yeah, it's gone. And we're, we're, we're just killing it. Our teammates or our opponents just... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing, but we are just shredding through them right now with Mammoth Swine and Nine Tails. So Gigaton Hammer comes through here. That's looking a little scary, and yeah, that is just <laughs> taking me out. That is just taking me out. That move is so strong. But now we're sitting here 2v1 with two Pokemon that are thriving in the snow. I get to bring out my Alone Sand Slash, and this one is just going to be a nice quick match that we actually lost Chandelure with. So I definitely want to use Chandelure in the third and final match a little bit better. But from here, I'm choosing Icicle Crash. I'm going to go into it, and I'm just going to choice, or not choice. I'm just going to use Iron Head here because it is stab. I'm just going to do some nice damage. Plus, we get a flinch chance with that and Ice Crash. So, double flinch chance here. Might be able to just KO and win, right? No, we leave it sitting on like one or two. Kind of annoying, but we do get the flinch. We do get the flinch. So, I'll stick with my Ice Crash, go into Iron Head, and that is going to be game set match. Quick little match here, match number two. Just a nice little hyper offensive matchup. Like I said, did not really get to use Chandelure, but hey, I'm hopping into that third. We're one and one, and we'll try to use Chandelure a little bit more. Loading into our final match for today's video, and we are going up against an Empoleon team. So really cool Pokemon to end off the video on. Definitely liking Chandelure here, who's going to be super effective onto the Annihilate with Shadow Ball, onto the Rillaboom with Heat Wave. It works out pretty good here. So do I need Chandelure? I think it could be a good lead, especially if they want to go into a fake out user such as Rillaboom. It's going to be perfect. So I'm going to lead Chandelure here, try to showcase it a little bit more here, and grab you guys a win. And I'm also going to lead... Let fairy because I could pop trick room at that point, or I could go maybe nine tails here and just protect it. Hmm, is that what I want to do? Do I want to go nine tails? Do I want to go nine tails here just at the snow? The snow could be really good for my back end Pokemon. Or again, I could just go Clefairy here, which I kind of like. I definitely like it. So I'm gonna go Clefairy here, I'm gonna go Chandelure, and I'm gonna go nine tails and sand slash. Or do we go Nine Tails Mamoswine? Because Mamoswine could definitely come with clutch here. I like Mamoswine a bit better. I'm gonna go Mamoswine here. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go two and one, grab ourselves a winning record, and showcase Shannon Lore a bit more here in match number three. Because match number two, it got dumped on. They ended up doubling down with Kilowattrel and Annihilate. But match number one, it did pretty good, picking up a nice big time double KO onto Ogre Pond and another Pokemon. And kind of helping us win that first match. But they end up going into these two, which is totally fine by me. Um, they can't fake out my Chandelure. They can fake out my Clefairy if they want to. But I think a simple play is just going to be Terrastalize Heat Wave. Yeah, Terrastalize Heat Wave is going to be my play. And then just follow me if we can. Or I could just simply protect. But I'm going to follow me, just, just in case, just in case. Because, I mean, you have Protect. It's no big deal if you end up going into a... If you end up not going into the Fake Out or going into it. It's not a big deal if you take the damage. So, instead of Protecting, I'd rather just... I'd rather just soak the Fake Out, right? Because I'm trying, I'm trying to keep my Shan a bit more. So, Follow Me does come out here. They opt to not go for the Fake Out, which is huge. This is exactly why I went into the Follow Me. The high Horsepower is for the Follow Me. So they're looking to attack me. That hit actually kind of hard. Icy one's gonna get cooking. Maybe I should have popped the trigger, but I'm cool with this. Speed's gonna drop on both sides of the field. And he is, shows that he's life worth. He waves gonna get cooking here. So he'll do some nice damage, and it does. It's some beautiful damage. That is some beautiful damage. So he pick up some nice damage, and do I pop the trigger here? That is the real question. Do I pop the trigger for Shandle? Probably not, right? It's just a problem. It's just a problem. It really is. And, and the problem being that uh, I, have, I, I have some fast Pokemon in the back end. So he ends up withdrawing. We're going into Chandle. And who are they going into? They go into Annihilate, which is totally fine by me. So I can follow me here. I should be able to eat up another high horsepower, which is pretty good for us. And he's just going to U-turn instead. So that's fine. So he U-turns out. 
We gotta pop another Heat Wave, and I could just go into Follow Me Shadow Ball next turn if I want to. That's an option as well. That is definitely an option. So he turns out in the Clefairy, and that's a smart play. So he waves into the Coconier. We maybe get a burn onto Annihilate. We do not. No burn onto Annihilate. This thing has leftovers too. So Annihilate's looking kinda scary, right? Annihilate's looking a little scary. I could go for Shadow Ball, and I think I am going to go for Shadow Ball here, and I'm just going to go for another Follow Me. This just seems simple for me, right? So we can go for Follow Me, Bulk Up, he can do a lot here. But I think he goes for Follow Me and he tries to attack my Shandal. It's a possibility. But Clefairy's chilling here, and he's just going to go, he's not, he is not Follow Me, which is massive, because Shandal should be able to get after it. Should be able to pop a big time Shadow Ball, probably take out Annihilate, right? Go so Shandal, do your thing. Do your thing, yo. Stab. Super effective. Terror type boosted. We love it. I just wonder what Clefairy's going for. I do wonder what Clefairy's going for. So big time KO comes out from Shandu. We like, we like that a lot. We still have the Snow Squad in the back end, which is huge. We still have Terra. And he has to go for like Cool. Cool. So he can go back up to full HP. That's not a big deal. They have Empoleon. They have Rillaboom as back end Pokemon. And I think we just go into Ninetales here. Set the snow and it's just protect. Because chances are, again, they go back in the roll room and they look the fake out. And if not, I mean, we have freeze dry, which is a lovely sight. But yeah, there's the roll room. So Rillaboom back out on the field. This is just a simple protect heat wave for me. Simple protect heat wave. And we're back up to full HP, which means we have our focus ash ready to rock. Ready to rock. So from here, heat wave 100% going to be our play. And then we are just going to protect. And at that point, we can always Encore the Rillaboom. Unless it wants to go for Grassy Guide, we can always Encore. But no Fake Out, I guess? I guess, I guess he's just opting not to go for Fake Outs today. I guess he just doesn't like Fake Out. But he has a Terrastalize, and that's fine. We are protecting for a good cause, too, if you are Fire-type and Rocket Terror Blast. It's pretty nice for us. The Grassy Guide's going to come in here right in a Shandle. That's a little scary. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. So Heat Wave doing some nice damage on both sides. Getting a burn onto Clefairy, which we like a lot. And he's just gonna go for the light. So he's looking for the HP recovery. We can eat up another Grass Guy, which is pretty big. So what I'm thinking here is just going Shadow Ball, right? I'm looking to straight up attack this Pokemon. So Shadow Ball into, I guess, a Blizzard here. It's probably our best play. I do love having Mammoth Swine in the back end. So Helping Hand comes out here, and that's actually a big play from our opponent. Helping Hand, Grass Guide. Smart play from our opponent. Can we eat this up? Probably not now, right? Oh, we do. Shandle, I love you. I love you, Shandle. Coming up with a big time 5 HP. Eat up. Shadow Ball going to come out here. Should be able to do some nice damage on this thing. Right? Should be able to chunk up some damage. Shandle, chunking up some nice damage. We like that. This roll boom is actually kind of bulky. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie here. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm not gonna lie. But Grass Guide is terrifying me. We gotta get rid of this Pokemon. We have to get rid of this Pokemon right now. Do I just Encore him in the Helping Hand? Yeah, probably, right? I don't want him getting any more HP. It ends up withdrawing. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to Encore this thing in the Helping Hand same turn. That's actually big. I don't understand the withdrawal, but... I like it. I like it. So, we're going to Encore here. Shandle's going to be able to do some nice damage. And this thing's stuck going in the Helping Hand, right? Stuck in the Helping Hand, which is a good call for us. So, that's going to end up putting that thing on 1 HP. Helping Hand comes out here, and he's just stuck doing that. He is indeed stuck. So, we're chunking up some nice damage here. Now, we just go for a Blizzard to pick up the KO onto the... Uh, onto the Empoleon, and then Shadow Ball can do some nice damage on the Clefairy. This is a solid matchup. The Real Boom is scaring me, though, because Grassy Guide, that's exactly why I swapped. He wanted the terrain. He wanted the terrain back. It ends up helping handing. 
Blitz is gonna come out of here, finish off and pull me out. We like that a lot. And I should be able to potentially get a double KO here. Bro, that thing's scary. Dude, that roll boom in the back end is terrifying, man. It really is. It really is. And this is why I wish I had Protect, man. Because with that terrain, it gets Grassy Glide. And Grass Guy could probably one shot my. It's gonna kill my Chandelure. My Chandelure is low enough HP. And it's probably gonna one shot my Mammoth Swine, right? That's just some big time damage. But I'm kind of hoping my girl can just keep ripping, getting after it, and just chunking up some damage on this thing. Because, again, this thing is terrifying. This thing is scaring me. Just like a perfect terror type, perfect moves. Everything is looking perfect for that. So I'm going to go into Shadow Ball. I'm going to stick with my Blizzard. That's all I got. And we'll go from there. The grass guy coming out here. Now, I wish Mad was finding out of Sash. I really do. Again, Grass Guy, this thing's just ripping. Or I wish I had Protect, because we know he's going to Grass Guy, didn't we? How much damage is this Blizzard doing? Well, it's just doing some nice damage. We like that Blizzard damage. We love that Blizzard damage. So Snow's going to stop, so we're going to have to switch in the Freeze Dry. Which could be a problem. <laughs> it could be a problem, man. It could be a problem. I have Sash. Can we eat up Glide? I don't know. So I'm going to go EQ here. I doubt he protects. If he protects, he protects. That's fine, and we're switching over to Freeze Dry. So Grass Guy coming out. Can you just eat this? You can eat. Okay, beautiful. So I was worried for nothing. Mammoth Swine, beefy enough to just outbulk that. And we're coming in here and dropping the EQ. And we have Air Balloon, so that's fine too. So everything works out perfectly. We get rid of the Roll Room. Chandelure has a great match here, match number three. And we grab ourselves a 2 1 winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video. Losing our first match, but killing it in match number two and in match number three. But Chandelure and Mammoth Swine. Felt like we showcased them really, really well. We had Nine Tails and Sand Slash on this team as well, but I showcased them in a recent video, so I did not want to use them too much in today's video. So I feel like I did a good job using Chandelure and using Mammoth Swine to their fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.